<clears throat> Hello again, digital artists. I'm going to do a quick video recap for you on the different ways to erase a mistake in Photoshop. So first things first, you'll notice that I currently have the brush tool selected. And I've made my brush color purple by tapping on the color palette over here on the bottom left. This is my active color. It's on top. I have white as the inactive or background color. And just by holding down that my pen on that purple square, I brought up the color picker. So that's how I got my nice purple color. I've chosen an airbrush. And as you can see, I've I started coloring the blue beetle purple. But I'm not really all that sure that I like the blue beetle purple. I mean, it's kind of funky, and, and beetles look good purple. But I don't know. It really feels like maybe it needs to be blue to me. So there's a bunch of ways that I can undo my purple color. For one thing, I can use Command-Z or Control-Z for Windows. And that is just going to take off the last stroke that I've done. So I paint a stroke. Command-Z will undo that stroke. It will only undo your last action. However, in my layer box, since I decided to do my painting purple here on a separate layer, I can test and see, do I like the purple or do I not like the purple? by tapping that visibility icon, the eyeball, to the left of the layer. I tap it, and the purple goes away. Comes back, goes away, so I can decide whether I like it or not. But I have really decided that I don't like it, so I have a couple of different options to get rid of it. One option is to use the eraser tool over here on the left side toolbar. And because I've got a fair amount to erase, it's probably a good idea for me to fly the diameter of the brush kind of larger, make sure I'm going to have full opacity to completely get rid of that. And I can just start erasing like this. Now, everything I erase this way is permanent. So there's no way to test it, to do it, undo it, go back and forth that way. There's another good way of doing this. If we go up to the Window menu, and we put a check mark next to the History window, this is going to add the History tool window right here. You can see exactly what I've done, all my previous actions. And I believe I have it set to keep 50 previous actions in the Active History window. Now, this is kind of cluttering up my desktop, so remember that I can drag the History tab over to the side. And when you see the blue highlight on this box and drop it, it will become another tab right here in my side windows. Now, if I were painting on a background, a solid color background, I would also have the option to make it appear that I'm undoing a mistake by painting in the background color. But I just want to show you how we would um, create a fill. Remember, I showed this to you in class as well. I'm going to put myself on a separate layer. If I go to the Edit menu, tap on Fill, use foreground color for the contents, blending mode normal and 100% opacity, and click OK. That's going to fill my entire layer with purple. You can do this, of course, with any color you want. So um, you can also choose different colors here. Just going to remind you by tapping the Color tab. This shows you the same thing that my little active color palette shows me on the bottom left the same purple and white. I can also choose colors from the swatches tab. All right, that's it for now. Have fun practicing.